managerial accounting, job order costing. We've been tracking the cost flows through the various accounts. And we are now, we found all the, the uh, end of the period balances in our accounts, and we've discovered that overhead has a debit balance. In other words, the actual cost of overhead, which show up on the debit side, exceeded the applied overhead during the period. So we have a debit balance of $4,581. So we're pretty good guessers, but not totally perfect. So what do we do with that? Well, we know that this overhead account gets zeroed out. In other words, no balances at the end of the period. Well, where does that 4581 go to? Well, it goes to cost of goods sold. So to zero this out, that means we're going to make a closing journal entry, which debits uh, cost of goods sold, in other words, increases cost of goods sold, and credits overhead. So 4581 is being credited to overhead. That zeroes this account out. We take that underapplied overhead, meaning that cost of goods sold is too skinny, too small, and we've got to bulk it up because it was underapplied. So we're going to make that closing journal entry for what was that number again? It was 4581. 4581 to cost of goods sold. So we take the cost of goods sold number up until this point had actual materials, actual labor, but applied or estimated overhead. We bulk it up by what was under applied. So now when I find my cost of goods sold ending balance, what will I have? Actual cost of goods sold because it will contain actual materials, actual labor, and the actual overhead cost. So let's see what that number is. If I can do math today, you get 298,781. I'm hoping that's right. Let's see if I've got this written down someplace. I assume it's right. If it not, you'll let me know, won't you? So that's what we do. Now, if you wanted to know uh, did, and make a beautiful income statement, could you make a beautiful income statement at this point? Sure. Sales minus cost of goods sold, actual cost of goods sold, gives you the gross margin, minus your selling and administrative expenses, will give you your operating income. So we've come a long way, haven't we?